this is a tough matchup. A slower paced, isolated, single player experience, and an action packed kill em all and let God sort em out shooter. Today, join Steven, Jacob, and myself, Brandon, as we find out which game goes to the semifinals. It's Contra versus Metroid on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Okay, these are totally different games. Totally different games. Yeah. Metroid is is. Metroid's definitely more slow paced. It's a more slow paced exploration game, whereas Contra's more of a run and gun with Rambo. with a buddy possibly. Whereas Metroid is is a solitary single player experience. Yeah. Um, with the the progression of finding the items and moving forward, using passcodes. And, Contra looks better. Contra looks Contra looks, Contra looks a lot better. It looks a lot better. A lot better. Uh, so where, where are we gonna start? We start audio. What do you think has better music? Metroid. You think Metroid has better Metroid music? Has better music? Even more so than the dun 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 dun. I think Contra has better. Better. Metroid. Metroid. Metroid's got some bangers that I can listen to. Dun 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 dun. It does, but also. Think about it this way, because I, I have both the track lists on that PC over there. Metroid has a much smaller soundtrack. Yeah, but they but they needed that smaller soundtrack. For a longer game. You know what I'm saying? Shut up, I'm right. <laughs> I'm just bringing I, up, I'm stating I the facts. I think Metroid's got great music. I don't think it shines here on Metroid. I think in, in the genre, I don't think I, it shines in the NES. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's definitely the weaker, but that's because of the NES. But I still got some I think Contra... I mean, come on, man. Brinstar, Depth, uh, Crazy Lair. Uh, that's, like one, that's like top ten best... It's good. ...video game music of all time. It's, it's, it's good, but... I mean, man. the Brinstar music... The da, 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 and then like the the freaking title music that it's good it's really good I like, um, it. I like it better than Contra poo poo music Contra, I'm just kidding dude, it's not bad it's Contra's not bad got good music I know it's, yeah. it does have good music you get a good metal like cover band doing a con- the Contra the over the first world I think yeah oh if man doing, if I'm doing a metal cover band I'm covering Metroid if I'm doing uh, Contra uh, in my opinion Man, I... What you going with? Don't make me choose. Uh, <laughs> they're about even with me, man, because I, I think they're both great. Yeah. I, just, I just think the bad part about Metroids is that you've got a, a much longer game with a much smaller soundtrack. But I think the reason but, why... But, but also Contra like... doesn't have to reuse as mm-hmm. much because... Or at all, because it's just... All right. As a game, it's, it's levels. What about audio? What, excuse me, what about uh, uh, FX? Like individually, like you know, the just, like graphically, mm-hmm. um, just sprite effects. Contra is a better looking game. Yeah, I can, I can agree with that. Metroid is kind of crude, kind of like how Zelda looks kind of crude mm-hmm. a little bit. I mean, I'm just I I'm think thinking of, think about are... what Ridley looks like, and then think about that alien at the top of the waterfall that pops up out of the darkness. Yeah, there is just no comparison that. Oh, without a doubt, that that looks better. I mean, just the the background of Contra, like with the there's a lot going on. The the jungle in the background, the yeah. waterfall. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, and then look at look at Metroid for comparison. Uh, it's just not as look at those trees. <laughs> that's How not, is that? That's not the NES. That's not the NES version, sir. Um, look at those mountains. This is the NES version, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's right. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think Contra looks better. Oh yeah, without a doubt. I, I agree there. Uh, I think Metroid's got a better story. Does that count? Crazy? I could see that. Because honestly... Contra's I, just I, like, yo, there's aliens! Yo, there's shoot aliens. them all! We need, we need all on Schwarzenegger. And story? And, what are you talking about? Here's a gun! Here's a gun! Need, go we shoot! Need a Schwarzenegger-looking dude and an Arnold-looking dude to have guns and go shoot. That's, I mean, is that not... Yeah, hey, come with me if you want to live. We got to kill the aliens. Yeah, dude, it's totally Stallone and Schwarzenegger at the front of that game. <laughs> Bill Riser yeah. and... I can't remember. Yeah. It's um, the yeah, I mean, definitely Metroid's got a better game, a story. Yeah. I, okay, okay, uh, we can we can move on. The harder part about this mechanically mm. is is that the, mm. Metroid's a game where yeah you get to shoot things, but it's not the point. The point is the exploration, remembering where things are, upgrading. I think Metroid's got the uh, mechanics better. Does there's, it? There's more to do. There's more. There's more ways to skin a cat. A more variety. Uh, 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 I'd, I'd be willing to agree that yeah. the, it has a, a wider variety of gameplay going on. Morph ball, solving yeah. puzzles. All you're doing in contrast is shooting. And it um, depends on how you're shooting. All you do is shoot. But shoot. also, guns, guns, more guns. Would, you, would you be willing to say that... Um, it does feel good when you shoot them. 
with would you say the simplicity of Contra is more fun than the kind of backtracking and not knowing where you're going unless you have a Nintendo power yes. of Metroid? For me personally, no. Yes. I, I like that Metroid. I like that. Like, do you Metroid. think... Like Kid Steve. Do you think... No, no. Kid Steve. Oh, God. Kid Steve that would never be able do, to do that. Do you right. think... Do you think... But I don't want to... I don't want to judge it based on... Do, yeah. Do you think that yeah. Metroid... If you, if you sat down and played Metroid right now with no guide versus sitting down and playing Contra with your friend would be more fun or do you think you need that guide to tell you where to go to, to find stuff in Metroid it's because there, there's a there's a lot in Metroid there's a yeah, lot of no, running around right. and shooting random I, walls I have to look up the guides stuff. I have to look up the guides for uh, Super Metroid whereas if we're playing Contra it's like hey dude shoot that thing <laughs> like it doesn't matter Like, and, and don't get me wrong that's fun and I'm not discrediting it's, that it's more simple minded and it's personally it's, the thought process behind having to go through and, and strategize, like, okay, I'm stuck. What do I do? Let me shoot this wall. Let here, me here do go. this morph ball. Let me do this morph ball bomb. You know, I like that. Here thing. you go. Here you go. How about this? Because it sounds like I'm taking Contra side. But Contra, the, the differentiator there is, yeah, it might be more instant action and more linear. And it's, it's, you don't really have to put a lot of thought into it. But you do have to put in a lot of thought into what's coming to, on the screen next because it has a lot of cheap, yeah. like... Contra is a cheap game. It is. It will. It, it's not fun unless you know where things are coming from sometimes. Right. And especially if you're not using the Konami code because mm-hmm. you only have so many lives. Right. Um, the it's also like that arcade cheat. You also, want. yeah. Also, you know it's not fun when you get the spread gun. You're like, man, this thing is the best gun ever, and then and you die, and then you get uh, you hit, get hit by a straight bullet that come off the screen that you had mm-hmm. no time to react to, and you lose it. Whereas Metroid, you keep all your stuff at all exactly. times because you get a password to continue where you left off anyway. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's really a hard comparison mechanically between these two games. I think it's down to preference, I guess. I'm going to go with Metroid, especially with the password system, because at least that way I feel like I'm getting some progression, whereas when you die in Contra, you... You start from, from, start from the top. Start from the top. And yeah. that is very... Fr- that that I'll be honest with you, that was probably the my least favorite thing about the NES, is that there were a or, lot of games that were like that. Some people might be like, hey, you know what? That's going to inspire me to go back and play these levels and, and figure really them out, better. and I'm going to be able to the, know where the, things are coming the from. Dark Souls get good. Hey, that's the awesome. Dark Souls and get I, good. And, and if people like right. that, that's awesome. And, I, and, I, and I, man, look, I'll enjoy me some Dark Souls gameplay myself. I enjoyed Elden Ring, even though there were some times where I just wanted to yeet my PS5 into the sun. But, you know, uh, it's fun in some instances. But if I'm talking about, like... It's just so frustrating to me to go through all this progression, sink all this time into a game, and then just have it completely erased. Well, also, Contra's not nearly as long of a game. Yeah. It's not. And that's true. I, I have to go with Contra, mechanically. It just feels like a fun, more fun game. I, rem- I, I just... Nope. I, if I went back and Service. played Metroid, even as an adult, I just don't... I think I'd play like an, uh, an hour and go, ah, I'm just done. I, well, to be fair, I would do that with I think I did. And Contra. Uh, and, 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 but, and Contra, it, to that argument, sure, because I'd probably die a bunch and go, oh, okay, I'm done. I can maybe get past this first level that I'm looking at a gif of um, and then go, okay, I've done enough Contra. But it just it just feels better. I, I, and, I, and I'm judging games based off of I just want to have fun. Playing all dang old fun. Metroid's got much more floaty jumps like and that. tough tough mechanics to get used to. I mean, at the same time, you know, you kind of have to learn what's coming up on the screen in Metroid at the same time. And there's a lot of... There's a lot of uh, you, have, you have to backtrack through some of those levels. Yeah, there's a lot of challenge with Metroid 2. Don't get me wrong. Um, there's a lot oh, of challenge man. with Metroid 2. Uh, but but at least I'm not... You're not punished as hard for your, your problems. Because, you know, you still got the password. You just put in the password and pick up where you left off. Now, I hate the password system. hate the password system with a passion. But that's mm, the technology of it. I think... You're going to sir. Mechanically, although I did like the password system to be able to. I gotta say, mechanically, I think I'll give it to Contra. I am very quick. Goodbye. Sorry, man. (laughs) I'm sorry, dude. Look, I love Metroid. No, man, it's fine. I understand. I love Metroid, but the first one, man, that is just. It, it's, it's the hard. worst. It's, it's the worst rough. one. It's the worst it's one tough, out of all. It's tough of them. to go back to, man. It's a tough game. It's, it can be frustrating. Both yeah. these games are frustrating. No, it's they the are. worst Metroid out of all of them. Steve, what about Metroid Other M? That one doesn't exist. <laughs> but but in all, but, 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 but with Metroid, it, it is the worst one. But I mean, I I, 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 I'll, I argue that I'm because I'm I'm with Brandon on the Contra thing. But I'll argue that the original Metroid set up. To, to the future where we are now, I'd be Metroid, willing. Yeah, um, yeah I'd be Metroidvania. Uh, no, um, what's the latest Metroid one? Dread. 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 Like they went back to their roots and look how successful. It was. I would be willing to say that Zero Mission. I tell you what, though, I, I'm surprised that you don't like Metroid more because there's a female character. 
What's wrong? What's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. She's not thick though. Oh no! <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh, oh joke. no! It's a joke because Jacob always joke. plays as female. Girls. Jacob wasn't interested in hey, girls at that time. I'd be willing to say <laughs> I was. I was five or six. <laughs> what I'm trying. Let me let me get my point out. Okay, go, go, go. I think if you want to play the original Metroid, I'd be willing to say that playing Metroid Zero Mission on the Game Boy Advance is just a better alternative. Than oh yeah, without a doubt. Oh oh, without a doubt. It's just better. It's way better. It's just better. And I'm glad you brought that up because that actually. That but actually Contra, but, 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 but Contra, I think there's. There's better Contra games. Contra, Super Contra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Contra Hardcore on the Genesis is probably the best one. There. I don't know about that. Yeah, you get to play as a wolf and a robot. Okay, that's pretty cool. It's pretty it's awesome. 80s. At the end of the day, both these games, when it comes to their alternatives, I'm going to pick the other game. Mm. You know, If I'm going to want to play Metroid, I'm probably going to play the one for Sega Genesis. Oh, man, but... I play, mm. I believe it or not, I played that one. That's one of the very few Sega Genesis games oh, I played. I don't man. remember where. Wait a minute. Did I vote for Mega Man whenever it was Mega Man vs. Contra? I don't remember. I don't know. I have to go back and listen. Wait, what one? Uh, I don't know. Contra I can't remember. I was going to say... Did... Contra one. It's all we're here. I know, but I, don't re- I remember voting for... Me- was I the only one that voted for Mega Man? It, I, I think so. And I think I was the only one that vet- voted for Castlevania when you two voted for Metroid. Okay, I'm just... I'm trying to remember. That's why Metroid's here. I'm, I'm totally wasting remember. time. All right, it's vote time. It's vote time. Oh, did, did we not even talk about any of this? Like, did we? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Revolution uh, E4, it's time. Uh... Dude, they're both yeah. pretty revolutionary. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. All right. Does it stand the test of time? No, neither one of them do. I think Contra, Contra, Contra does. Contra, Contra, Contra does a little more. Contra, Contra stands, does a little more. stands it better. Contra bank, Contra bank. And which one represents the console? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'd say Metroid only because of the Nintendo no bias. I, I, gotta, I had a Contra. I gotta say Contra as well. I have to. Oh, no. This is a Contra code. It's it's the it's the the Konami code. Oh, I said it. I said it. A tier back. It's it's it peaked in high school, and this Dude. is high school. The NES is high school, and it the Contra peaked. Maybe at SNES, but like this is where it's his heyday, and it doesn't move any p- past this. Metroid moves on, shines, and a bunch of other consoles. Yeah, you're this. right. Um, you're right. So now it's vote time. I'll go I, first. Contra. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Go say it. Say it. I'll be honest with you. Uh, I changed my vote. <laughs> What? I did. I'm going to go with Contra. And here's why. Brandon made an excellent point. Brandon made an excellent point that I honestly think just was the deciding factor for me. Because I was firmly in, in Metroid. We know. When, when Brandon said, when Brandon said he'd rather play Zero Mission, that took a lot away from me. Because uh, here, here's the thing. They are the same game for the most part. But if I want to play Contra, if I got an NES in front of me and I want to play Contra, I'm like, let's play Contra. If I got an NES in front of me and I want to play Metroid, I'll say, I'd rather play Zero Mission. Would, would you be willing to say that playing Contra with two people, with a friend right now, would be more fun than playing Metroid by yourself? I don't know. I don't know. It, it could be because, to be honest with you, yeah. Brandon, I, um, I like to do both. Or how about this? How about Contra by itself versus... Metroid by Metroid, itself. Yeah. Metroid by itself. I feel like I'd Contra is a better itself. game with two people. Yeah. Sure. Well... My vote's Contra, anyway. No, so, yeah. so, so, and, and, and the it just has to. It, it's got to. It's got to. It has gotta, to. Man. It just it feels I mean, right. It, 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 like I love Metroid, but geez, man, the first one is just so primitive. Yeah. And it's yes. it's, it's it's like it's the same thing with Legend of Zelda. Other than Other M, which has issues, this is just not because it's a bad game. It's yeah. just the worst one mechanically because mm. it's just, it, it's old. It's old. It's so just I, old. I will say it's this. Old. I will say this. I still stand by with what I said about, about the, the game gameplay. Boy? About yeah. the gameplay because, you know, okay. to me personally, the fact that there's a lot more to do other than just running and gunning in my opinion is what makes it, what makes it a little better for the gameplay. But standing the test of time in my opinion is one of the most important things on this list because if I'm going to pick this game up later, mm-hmm. I, I need to be able to want... I, I gotta want to. I gotta yeah. want to. And I'm more likely to want to play the original Contra because that's the only one we got. It's alright. And, if I, if I, and when I go back... If I want to play the original Metroid game... I don't have Contra. <laughs> if I'm gonna go back and play the original Metroid game, I'm gonna play Zero Mission. I'm not gonna touch the sure. NES version. Fair and enough. so, in my opinion, I penalize it for that. Winner. Contra. Ugh, another tough decision I know I personally didn't want to have to make. Contra moves forward into the semifinals. Do you think we're stupid? Probably. Tell us how you feel about these games in the comments, and as always, like, subscribe, and share the show with everyone you know. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.